good to see you guys. Good afternoon. We figured we'd stop in and chat rather than just throw a video at you. So hey, here we are. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Welcome, suckers. <laughs> we woke up in Squim, Washington. I really wanted to go to Forks. I am a Twilight fan. I loved the books. I loved the movies. And it's, you know, set in Forks, supposedly. So, much to Jesse's annoyance, we set out west. And along the way, we were told that we must stop at Lake Crescent, that it's just a must see. I was all for going up onto the peninsula and exploring and doing fun stuff. I had zero interest in going to Forks or La Push because there's just nothing to them. There's nothing there. They're tiny little towns. There's no reason to go there. It's a place that you would drive into town and you go, huh, okay. And then turn around, and drive two hours elsewhere. I have since read the same, that Forks is actually kind of a depressing little town. They didn't shoot Twilight there. And that La Push is beautiful to see, but there's so many people there that it's kind of a tourist attraction. So, Lake Crescent. Lake Crescent. <laughs> this was the most beautiful lake I had ever seen. The color blue that the water was, was so vibrant. And the water was so clear. There was this little stream that came in and... You could watch the water kind of mix together. It's confirmed up to 600 feet deep and rumored to be over a thousand feet deep in some places by divers. So... I didn't know that. Yeah. It's a big lake deep was. While we were at Lake Crescent, I like looked up the Google map area. And what else is there to do around Yeah, there? there's a 15 minute hike, it says, to go see a waterfall. 15 minutes is a good amount of time. It said it was fairly flat. And so we set out to go see this waterfall. We went through this cool tunnel that goes underneath the road. Jonah hasn't been through a lot of tunnels. He had a lot of fun with it. Just wanted to keep going back and forth. Um, I didn't really grab much of that, but we went through the little tunnel and then there's just this huge tree covered in moss. Not something unexpected on the peninsula, but it was the only one. Yeah. Like just the only one and just huge. Yeah. yeah. There's also some weird mushroom thingies growing. Yeah, there's some fungus. weird fungus dripping around yeah. up there. Don't touch it. Don't <laughs> don't lick it. Don't sniff it. Don't, I would... It is kind of fun to look at though. Yeah, and then the trees, you know, they're all dressed up. This tree looks like it's wearing a skirt. She's all gussied up for the forest party. We are going to a waterfall and we brought a dogs and come to a waterfall. So we just brought me because I'm sure me and mom. You and mom? And a camera. Oh! Whoa, you both almost fell at the same time. <laughs> that the hike to this waterfall was only gonna be 15 minutes and it was supposed to be flat. The first part of it was flat hike turns into stairs and stairs. Yeah, like at least stairs. 200 stairs. <laughs> <laughs> but we trekked through them and it was Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't totally a problem, but if you were expecting like a flat walk to a waterfall, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. that's not happening. You're not taking in wheelchairs back there, that's the for sure. Do you remember the name of it? There it is, and it's glorious. Tell me what you think. It's good. It's good? You think it's pretty? Well, uh, yeah, a little bit. We're for the bees. Yeah? Not oh, we're for yards. What, what about the waterfall behind us? Mm, pretty pretty too. Yeah? Pretty pretty? Man, I tell you what. If I was like four or five days out from a shower, I just showered like yesterday, so. But if I hadn't, woo, that looks good down there. Nice little pool. Nice trying to bite my face off. Yeah, I heard him from the 
<laughs> what do you think? Okay, so you know how people are obsessed with lighthouses? I am obsessed with waterfalls. They are pretty amazing. Even if you can't get in them, even if there's a bunch of people, they're still so beautiful and just awe-inspiring and I'm super glad that we took yeah, time and this, to come here. Yeah, this one's like a tiny little sign. Yeah. Once you're in the park, like it's yeah. not, it's no big advertisement. We're no. way up here in the peninsula, but incredible. Yeah. Well worth the hike. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Jonah practicing Jonah cam. After we checked out the waterfall, Jonah practiced a little bit of his camera skills. As you can see, he's got the brand new Barkberry 8. It's incredible. It takes the most amazing pictures. Here's a couple of those. And then after that, we had to walk down to the water's edge where it was a little deeper on the dock and stick the GoPro in so we could see how clear it actually is. I had to do that. This is not color corrected. Yeah, look at how blue it is. Oh my gosh, so vibrant. And then it was time to load up and move on. We didn't make it to La Push, but we did make it to Lake Crescent, Lake Crescent, which was definitely the most beautiful lake I have ever seen. So gorgeous. Now we gotta stop and get some food. Per the usual, everything we do takes too long, or longer than we plan on, not necessarily too long. But we're all starving, we're on our way back, so we decided to stop at Granny's little cafe here. And it's amazing. They have a whole little farm out back where they have goats and cows and chickens and whatever and they make all their stuff for their restaurant and it just seems super cool so eat some lunch relax a little bit and then head our way back to the bus i think it would be fun to have a restaurant and then like live in the backyard and it's like a farm and a farm restaurant yeah you just never get away from work hey boys hmm. happy little roadside stop we didn't plan on yeah hey granny's kids yeah, there's a cat too. So these are the burgers we ate. Just kidding. Those are emus. Out there pecking on a piece of wood. Oh, and a donkey. So you read about this place. Tell me about it. Oh, uh, well, they opened in 1956. And it's been a restaurant. It's past owners like three times. But the cool part is, it's not actually what I read. It's that the, the owner of the restaurant lives in the house and has this, all these animals. Oh, like that one. <laughs> they got race chickens. Look, look at these guys. They're supposed to mimic you. Do you like visitors? That must be a baby. Can you do it again? Oh. We had some of your cheese goats. It was good. Little restaurants, family owned supported by little farms that the family also owns. Nestled in paradise. Nestled in paradise. It's like a dream come true. I dig it. Where do I sign up for this? <laughs> they really like the dead cat on the microphone. <laughs> silly, silly emu. You can't have it. These farm animals have quite the character going on here. Hey, 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 hey. This one really wants the dead cat. <laughs> hey, stop. Chill. Chill. Yeah, you chill. What's your, which one's your name? Sparkles? Sprinkles? I don't remember. Sorry. It's up there on the sign. You know, the whole itchy horn thing going on. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? After some good lunch and a little bit of farm fun, we headed back towards the bus. By the time we got there, everybody was tired, everybody was worn out. We crashed for the night and then got up to go have some more adventures. So. Here's where we're at from there. Good morning. Do you all have those special kind of friends? You know, the ones that like lick windows. We have friends like that. Yeah, you wanna meet them? Come on. <laughs> Good morning, friends. We are at the Olympic Peninsula Game Farm. And these guys are just hanging out. They already got their snack on, so they're just kind of chilling. 
We're with the Bockleys, they're in front of us. And it's gonna be a furry day. Don't get a camera. Yeah. Your friend's tasting you. I wanna have one. Will I like <laughs> Mmm. Same bread as last week. <laughs> Still eating it though. I'm a carbitarian. <laughs> Look at Amanda's tripping. Oh, um, so good. I like their mohawks personally. Yes. They have the best mohawks. Don't take my bread. Okay. Move okay. Bread. Next. <laughs> Next. Next. Come on through. Keep it moving, people. Here we go. Yep. Yep. What do you got? Oh yeah. Same as the last car. Weird. <laughs> I swear it's a conspiracy. <laughs> Telling you, I'm sick of the bread. I'd like some carrots or uh, lasagna. How about some lasagna? Do you have any mm -hmm. celery? I ordered a pizza like two <laughs> years ago. Still waiting on it to show up. I swear they have a squirrel in that car. I'm gonna go check. You are pretty. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yep. Still bread. Would you like it? Mmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, let me. I like it when I shake it around a little bit. It helps tenderize the bread. Do you tenderize your bread? Yeah. Just. Oh. Well, didn't mean. Didn't mean to. I did that on purpose. That's it, Andrew. Oh. Did you eat it? Yeah. Silly old bear. Too late. It's too late. Here. Look at Look how cute they are. A little tiny baby. Shake your butt feathers for me. Shake them. Shake your butt feathers. Come here. I got it. Come on in. Oh, how cute. Look at your huge rest. Give Andrews a piece of bread, please. Come on. You're so sweet. Can your face touch your rug? Oh. Is it soft? Yeah, it's velvet. Oh my gosh. They're called in here. Reach across. Bread's coming. Bread's coming. Okay. Give me a second. I got you, bread. Thank you. Get it off the handle. Get it off the handle. Honey, I can't. Get it off of the handle. Oh. Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. They have no boundaries. They're like, we'll eat your fenders. No big deal. <laughs> oh, man. They're so cool to feed, but scary at the same time. <laughs> Why, they have black tongue. Yes, they do. <laughs> oh, oh. Last bit of bread? Yep. Oh, we should have we should have saved some. I just want to touch your velvet horns. Come here. Your velvety antlers. Your velvety velvet. Oh, I, mean, I need more bread, please. It's simply to keep them off. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! You can't. Hey, honey. You can't feel it. Oh, 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 here. Here you go. Look at these fuzzy. These guys are in velvet too. So that wraps up the Squim Port Angeles area. Tomorrow we're... We're actually splitting ways with the Broccoli's. They've got stuff to do and we've got people to see and... Time to get over to Idaho. Time to cruise over the Cascades and go meet up with my dad and spend the summer there. So it's, mm -hmm. it's time to move on. We love this area. We can't wait to come back. The Lavender Farm was incredible. Thank you so much for letting us stay here. And 
I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Tomorrow, we're gonna we're gonna take the bus on a ferry. Lily's a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> of course. What what would what adventures would it be if Lily wasn't a little bit nervous about it? I know, I know. So we're gonna float this thing across the ocean tomorrow. So stay tuned. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do. If you like this video or anything that was in it, please click the thumbs up. Yeah, give our little family some love. This guy works really hard at editing the videos. And... I do. I love it. I enjoy it. But this is not my full-time gig. I have a whole <laughs> nother thing that I have to do. And I spend way too much time doing this. So I really hope that you enjoy it. It takes a lot of hard work. I'm not using a big, huge pro setup. I'm editing on LumaFusion on my iPad. So... And I am picking out the music on Epidemic Sound. Mm, yes, links below. <laughs> Till next time. Thanks for hanging out. What else was there? <laughs> we got the we got the macro on. So, the, oh. okay. so we go to this game farm, and the only thing that you're supposed to feed the animals is bread, which is strange. And they have the bread on site. It comes straight from the bakery. The bakery. Yeah, I don't remember the name of it. It doesn't really matter. But it's fresh bread. But that's all they eat, and I find that kind of weird. Like, I know animals eat a lot of grains and stuff, but processed bread? You couldn't give them carrots or apples or, you know, anything like that. Although, people snuck that stuff in, and they were getting all the cool animals to go hang out with them because they had the good food. We didn't know better. Well, now we do. Well, you're only supposed to give them bread to snack on. You're act they actually have very well-balanced diets. Yeah, that other stuff that them. they eat. Sure. Yeah, it was just bread to snack on. Some had zero boundaries. The zebra, let me tell you, when I went to a sk stick out that piece of bread and I saw how big those teeth were, I was like, ah, here you go. <laughs> and he was so interested that he bobbled the thing around, dropped it, and still ate it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lily dropped a piece of bread out of the door when we were going through the bison yeah. and Jeep door handles, you know, they there's a spot that you can grab onto. And it, the bread landed right in that handle, and oh I thought that that bison was gonna tear off my door handle, but luckily. Well, they give you forewarning that they aren't responsible or liable for any uh, any damage to your vehicle. The and last thing I wanted was a fender getting tore off. And the bison, they're so huge that they actually have an official there that makes sure that the people keep driving so mm -hmm. that the bison don't get frustrated, don't try and stick their head in the vehicle, like. You yeah, because they, keep they can like wink at your car wrong and completely just total it. Yeah, Literally, not not huge. even joking. Total it. They can total a vehicle by simply rubbing up against it. Yeah. So when I went to go drop the bread because the tongue was like this long, I freaked out. <laughs> and and it landed in the door handle. Oh my gosh! And Jesse's like, get that bread right now! And I'm like, no, it's gonna kill me. It was only, hey Tubby. Hey Jingle. Kitty. Do you she, want to make your debut? She's like, what? what I'm, no, no paparazzi. I think I'm going to leave. Really? Oh, yeah? You didn't get to go to the stream? Me, me. She didn't get to go to the stream, so she's real mad about it. Me, me. I always we forget to look at the lens. We woke up. Instead of your beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> I could be completely Super wrong beautiful. on that. But I think so. So while we were there... I had Googled. Nope. No point. Hey, shut the <laughs> up. <laughs> what? <laughs> in real life, man. Go. Can Come you see? On. We're trying to film something here. <laughs> You're not contributing at all. So we're not sure when we're going to see these two again. <laughs> but it probably won't be soon enough. No, it's a warning. It's a warning. Warning. <laughs> Watch out, we're Come coming on. back. <laughs> You're so short. I am, I'm sorry. It's been a great stay, we've had a blast, but yep. it's time to head out. They have things to do, planes to catch, business to do. We have unplanned adventures and gotta get over to my dad's, so. Yep. It's, it's been, been fun. fun. Yeah. We'll see you guys soon. Yeah, we'll see you soon.